Before this video starts, I want to just say please drop a like on the video, subscribe, and use code CRYPTONIC in all caps. Thanks, as it helps me a ton. Hey, what's up guys, CRYPTONIC here, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to make a Fortnite montage with DaVinci Resolve 17. Do you want to learn how to make something like this? In today's video, I will be teaching you the basics to making a Fortnite montage. Note that none of these effects are too complex and they don't require any plugins. I'm out here grinding YouTube every day, so make sure to subscribe with the bell on for more awesome videos. But without further ado, let's get right on into this tutorial. Alright guys, once you're in DaVinci Resolve, when you open it, you should see a screen like this. Oh yeah guys, if you're looking for DaVinci Resolve, the link is in the description. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the button, New Project. Just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my montage really quickly. Alright guys, after that you should automatically be put into the editing software. Alright guys, so once you're in the editing software, make sure you go to the bottom right, click on the gear, these are your settings. So what you guys are going to do is you're probably going to change the timeline frame rate all the way to 60 FPS for the best quality. Go down, render time process all the way down here, make sure it's optical flow. Press save and then the settings should be changed now. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to be going one tab to the right. This is basically where you edit all your clips. Go over to your media pool right here, make sure you right click and press import media. Then you should find some clips that you're able to use. Then just go click on whichever clip you wanna use and then just press the button open. And then over in your media pool, make sure to drag that clip all the way into your timeline. What you're gonna do right after is you right click again Press import media, go and get wherever you downloaded your song from. For this example, I will be using the song Hills by Camp Prada. Make sure you go check that out, link in the description. Drag this into your timeline, boom. So we don't want the music video going over the audio, so what we're going to do is we're gonna click on it, right click and find link clips, uncheck that. And now you click on the music video and delete it. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna find the part of the music that we wanna sync with the clip. So now we're gonna do this is we're going over to our little zoom tool, drag this in, and now you can see the timeline easier. What you're gonna wanna do next is you're going to go on your keyboard and use the right arrow key until you find that sinking point. See, here's our sinking point right over here. So what you're going to do next is you're gonna go over here to this blue thing and press it down. That's basically a marker which will help you sync it. So after, make sure you click on the clip and do this. Find the first frame of your clip where the shotgun shoots first. Use the right arrow key on your keyboard to do this. I'm trying to See there, there's my first frame of my shotgun, see? Okay, then you're gonna add another marker on the clip. Now what you're essentially gonna do is you're going to crop down your clip all the way. After you cut down your clip, make sure the clip's marker matches up with the marker in the song. So now it should look something like this. See, perfectly synced. Now to add an effect on our kill, make sure you go all the way to the left and then find effects. And you should see something called adjustment clip. Make sure you drag that in. The best way to drag it is if you drag it right at the marker. After we do that, we're gonna trim our adjustment clip down. So after you trim it down, make sure you click your adjustment clip and go one tab to the right. This is basically our fusion tab where we're gonna add all our montage effects. So on your keyboard, make sure you press control space and you should find tool selection. For a basic effect, make sure you search up glow. Make sure you press add on it. And then now you should have a glow over here. Now, if you're in a situation like this where it doesn't seem to be connecting, basically like the glow isn't working, here's what you're gonna do. If you see your media in and media out, make sure to double click the line connecting them like that and then on media in select the gray square and drag it to the glow and then on glow select the gray square and drag it to the media out and now it should look something like this so if that ever happens to you this is what you do but what we're basically gonna want to do is we're gonna go like we're gonna go about 15 frames away from the start of the glow so use the right arrow key and left arrow key to control it but so what we're gonna do after this is we're going to go to our inspector tab over here and you should see the glow settings so what you're basically gonna do is over here at the blend make sure you click the little keyframe button it looks like a diamond 
I don't really know. And make sure to go 15 frames forward. So basically, use your right arrow key on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, sorry guys, I lie. I don't think that's a big enough glow. So over here at the blend, make sure you're at the start of the clip also. Drag your blend all the way up to like, I don't know, let's say 5. And now it should look something like this. See that clean glow over there with the sink. Now, if you're thinking Kryptonic, this is way too simple. We're gonna add another part of the effect. Press control space on your keyboard again. This time type in camera shake over here. It should be something like this. Press add and then now you gotta shake, but it's not the right settings right now, currently. Now you obviously, now you obviously that the screen is shaking so much that, that some of the outsides are probably gonna end up looking like this. So what we're going to do is go over to your inspector again. You see the shake settings, go to your edges, switch canvas to mirror. And now it basically should be fixed and it should look real. Now go back to your inspector, drag your X axis all the way down to zero. Make sure overall strength is about, mm, I'd say five. And make sure your speed is way lower. About this is good. 0 0.2 is good. Then change your rotation over here to zero. Now it should look something like this. Go to your Y axis, press the keyframe button again. Go about a rough like 20 to 30 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, sorry about the counting, but then you drag your Y axis all the way down to zero. So now it should look something like this. See that little clean shake with the glow? It's just basically a really clean beginner effect. Now we don't want our after kill to be way too long. Go trim down your clip and your adjustment clip. Shorten it and it looks way cleaner. Go over to your media tab and press import media. Find the Fortnite clip you want to use, open it, drag that into your timeline. And after you drag it into your timeline, trim the clip down to however long you'd like. Remember, the way you crop it equals the way the clip starts. I'm going to cut the kill all the way down to here. Find where you'd want to sync again. We're going to sync here now, add a marker. Find the first shotgun shot like this, and then yeah. Add another marker on the kill. Remember, to add markers, you need to click on the clip. Or audio, it really depends. Go crop down your clip, sync it up with the other marker. It'll look something like this now. Parties on the coast, I don't want to look back on my... Oh yeah, sorry there's no audio playing, I decided to mute it. I'll unmute it at the end of the video. And drag in another adjustment clip for another effect. But if you really like the effect you just used, you could go click on the old adjustment clip, hold down Alt on your keyboard, and then just drag it over here. It basically made a new duplicate, and now it should look something like this. Remember, drag it over the marker. But anyways, it should look something like this. I don't wanna look back on my life. See, clean flash. And now to add a pretty clean transition, go back to where you found your effects, but go up all the way to video transitions. You should find a basic cross dissolve over here and you should drag it in here. Make it however long you want for the transition. But now it should look something like this. Oh, landed in the city. See, clean transition. And now our final product over here. That was my, this is my triangle. Sorry, friend in the background. I swear to but yeah guys i'll basically do it for the video if you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe i'll even make a more complex one make sure to drop a like subscribe and use code kryptonic in all caps thanks for watching and i can't wait to see your montages